Hey y'all and welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to be walking you through Saturn and your birth chart and how Saturn and your birth chart tells you what you're here to teach others. Of course, this is going to depend on what else you have going on in your chart. Each of our charts are going to be completely different depending on what else is going on, but this is just a general overview of Saturn through the signs and what that says about you as a teacher. Saturn, the planet, is a one that brings us lessons to learn that we have to learn ourselves the hard way <laughs> sometimes if we're not willing to be upfront about those things. At first, Saturn comes to shake us and this is what the Saturn return is all about. It's the gateway into adulthood, so it really comes to shake us up and have us learn the lessons we need to learn in order to take that forward into the next phase of our lives. So this is going to be a walkthrough of what Saturn brings to teach you and then in turn what you have to teach others through the learning of those lessons. I have another video on Saturn return and what it really is, when you know when yours is, and what it means for you based on what sign you have Saturn in. I'll link it in the in the description box so you can check that out if you're interested, but I'll be doing more videos around it as well at a later date. This one is just going to be on what you have to teach others based on your Saturn placement. So let's get into it. Saturn and Aries, you are here to teach people bravery, confidence, courage. You're here to teach people to take inspired action and to really show up in their lives in a really bold way and to step in their ability to be a leader because you have learned this yourself. It's where Saturn is like the planet of really learning through discipline. So it's like whatever you are disciplined in, this is what it will teach you. And you have really learned how to step into your confidence, how to step into your bravery, how to step into your courage and your ability to be a leader and also put your yourself and your needs first. And then in turn, how that does help everyone around you and kind of be a little bit selfish in that way. This is really what you have to teach others because it's the lesson that you've learned yourself. Saturn and Taurus, you're really here to teach people to be a teacher, to really be embodied in what they're teaching and not only just talk about it, but also be embodied in it and really live that in a embodied way. Taurus is fixed earth. If you've listened to my podcast on a breakdown of the astrology signs, you know the, the modes and the elements of each sign and this really gives insight into the energy of the sign. Taurus is fixed earth. It needs to be rooted in the practicality of earth. It needs to be grounded. So you're really here to teach people how to embody what they believe and how to be really grounded in that and how to really stay steadfast and firm and fixed in their opinions. You're really here to teach people to, yes, be firm in what they believe and, and their opinion, but also not write anyone off for that reason and to have be able to have conversations with people that disagree or differ from your opinions. This is the highest expression of Taurus, which I like to focus on is the highest expression of each sign. Saturn and Gemini, you're really here to teach people how to be creative, how to be embodied in their expression of their voice, of their communication, of their writing, of their speaking, and really how to have fun with life too, like how to not take life so seriously and to really bring a sense of comedy to all things. You're also really here to teach people to change their perspective and to adapt their story and their belief systems based on what their perspective is and what their perception of reality is. And really here to teach people that mercurial energy of what the stories are that we tell ourselves that we repeat in our mind and how that plays into our perception and how that creates our reality. So you're really here to teach people how to shift their perceptions and then in turn shift their reality and shift the way that they're communicating and speaking about the things around them and creating that and really see things too from a dualistic perspective and see both sides in order to weigh the options. It's like that phrase, um, what is it? consider don't accept or reject anything just consider it that's very much here what you're here to teach others as saturn and gemini and what you what yourself has learned throughout your life saturn and cancer is here to teach others to lead with their feelings to lead with their intuition and to lead with their ability to be tapped into those things those otherworldly things and also the dream realm so you might even be teaching people about dreams or how to tap in and tune to their dreams and get messages receive messages from their dreams you're also help, here to help people learn to trust and, and 
their intuition and let their intuition guide them and strengthen their intuition and really lead from that place and also when to know <laughs> when it's time to be alone when it's time to hermit away and to go into your crab shell um, because you yourself have really learned those lessons of of when you need to do that and so you're very much here to teach that to others and using their intuition to know when is the the time to do that you're also here to teach people how to access the divine feminine energy and tap more into femininity as a whole. Cancer is ruled by the moon, which represents the feminine. So here to live in a cyclical nature and really live with the ebbs and the flows of all things um, is really a big part of what you're here to teach others too. Saturn in Leo, you're here to teach people to be seen, to be loved unconditionally for who they are, to show up with their passions, to show up in a way that's fun, in a way that's loving, in a way that really just shines light unconditionally on those around them in a really bold way. Leo is fixed fire, so they're really here to be fixed in that ability to be the light for other people and for themselves. Um, Saturn and Leo is also here to teach people how to tap into their confidence and how to tap into their gifts and their passions and to lead from that place. Saturn and Virgo, you're here to teach people how to be a healer, how to be of service with your healing abilities. You're also here to teach people the purity of life and what that looks like and really leading from that place of, of purity and, and tapped into source, tapped into the divine energy and leading from that place with this um, intention of being of service and to really help people lead and, and be adaptable and flow with their ability to show up in service and to give back to the world around them in a really big way. Saturn and Libra, you're here to teach people how to have really close connections with people, how to really lead from a communal oriented place and how to get over people pleasing tendencies, codependent tendencies, and how to really um, learn how to have, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Like interdependency with your relationships and really how to not be codependent on people but also like have conscious connections and relationships with people where there's harmony there's true harmony um in that relationship you're also here to really teach what harmony looks like and how to see beauty and harmony and build see beauty in all things and build harmony with all the things in your life and this again will depend on your unique chart and what house you have saturn in especially for what area of life this is going to show up for you um, but this is just an overarching theme of each sign so Saturn and Scorpio, you're really here to teach people intuitive gifts, intuitive abilities, um, how to tap into their passions, how to lead with their passions, and how to lead with sensuality and sexuality as well. This is kind of similar to Taurus in that way of like really tapping into, this is something I forgot to mention for Saturn and Taurus, but Saturn and Taurus is really here to help people tap more into their sensuality and be embodied in their sensuality, and same with Scorpio. Except Scorpio really brings a sexual nature to this and being really like allowing themselves to be really sexy and um, really lead from that place of like their sensuality in all things and being really passionate about what they do and what they love and really tapping into their esoteric um, and the occult and the things that are taboo and really like teaching people how to learn from those things and be um truthful and to to share those things with the world and not hide that or keep it a secret but to share that from a place of, of passion and you're also really here to teach people how to transform how to be that phoenix rising energy of how to rise above the darkness and not get stuck in darkness dark feelings or dark times and to really transcend and transform them to rise above what <laughs> those dark feelings are to really live differently what else do I want to say about Saturn and Scorpio? Uh, really here to teach people vulnerability, true vulnerability, and what intimacy really looks like. And getting really real and vulnerable within your connections to create true intimacy and long-lasting intimacy versus just surface-level connections um, where nobody really feels seen or connected truly. Saturn in Sagittarius is really here to teach people how to use their, their voice, their passion to express their truth and how to be like multi-passionate and really expressive about that. 
Saturn and Sagittarius. Sagittarius is like the most multifaceted sign. They really love to have different interests and different experiences. They learn from their experiences. They learn from the different cultures that they're interested in. And so Saturn and Sagittarius is like, you really need to have those different types of experiences and be around different types of people, different cultures to learn from that. And that's a really big part of what you teach other people as well is like how to gain wisdom and knowledge from the different experiences you have and really like be embodied in that fun, freedom, loving, adventure, loving spirit that is you and the people that you're here to teach that too. What else about, oh, you're really also here to teach people how to tap into their innate wisdom and how to change their belief systems and there's the beliefs that they're telling themselves and the things that they are allowing themselves to perceive as reality. This is similar to Gemini as well, their sister sign. So it's like, you're really here to teach people how to change their perception of reality based on what their belief systems are and really reframe and restructure their belief systems to have new experiences and to see and do new things things so that they can learn from them and gain even more wisdom from that. Saturn in Capricorn is really here to teach people structure, here to teach people how to have a plan, a foundation of their life, is really here to teach people to be business oriented, to be business savvy, to really, um, you know, how to like practical application of business marketing ideals and concepts and really what that looks like and um, maybe even teaching people entrepreneur entrepreneurial pursuits as well what a tongue twister <laughs> and the importance of a family structure too and also how to tap into intuitive and psychic abilities capricorns are super psychic they just don't know it so that's a big part of saturn and capricorn too is really learning to tap into your intuitive abilities that you have innately and teaching that to other people Saturn and Aquarius is here to teach people how to innovate, here to teach people how to change their, um, also change their belief system, similar to Sagittarius. Like, how are you creating your reality based on what you're believing to be true? And how can you innovate that? How can you shift that? Also, how can you use technology in a way that helps the collective and helps humanity and show up on technology in a way that's being of service and not just using it to consume. That's really what Saturn and Aquarius is here to teach people to do is to innovate the ways they relate to technology in their lives and really bring a higher vision, a higher ideal to those things. Um, they're also really here to, to teach embodiment, to teach the fullest expression of their truth, of their uniqueness, of their individuality, and teaching people that it's okay to be who they are, it's okay to be unique, it's okay to be different, and it's okay to be seen in that way as well. What else was Saturn and Aquarius? Um, yeah, I feel like those are the major themes. Saturn and Pisces is really here to teach people how to be healers, how to tap into their intuitive gifts, how to um, transcend emotions and feelings through awareness, how to have a spiritual practice that connects them back to their truest self that allows them to also connect to their innate wisdom, their innate knowledge and the universal intelligence that we all have access to tap into like the akashic records um saturn and pisces is really here to teach that to other people and how to teach people how to heal themselves and to heal the collective as well um, and really like heal in a really big way from the inside out saturn and pisces is also here to teach people how to put their own needs first um, and and really not be caught in behaviors of people pleasing or um, you know, being scared to speak their needs or ask for the needs of others um, to get really clear on what that is and so that they're not making assumptions of what those are and, and living from that place kind of being scared to do anything because they're like, oh, I don't know if I can do this. You know, it's kind of like that energy of allowing themselves to put themselves first and nurture and love themselves no matter what and um, yeah, not waiting for someone else to give them permission to do that. So that's Saturn through the signs. I'm curious what sign you have Saturn in and how it shows up for you, how this resonated for you. Let me know what house you have Saturn in too and I'll reply to as many of you as uh, I possibly can if you're listening to the podcast. Go to my YouTube and uh, post in the comments <laughs> and I'll reply to you because I don't think you can do that on the podcast. But yeah, 
thank you for tuning in. Of course, I would love to hear how this resonated with you. And if you have anything else you want to learn from me as it relates to astrology or human design, I appreciate you and thank you for being here. And until the next video, sending you so much love.